Okay, um, I'm basically going to tell you a way how to test this out. <clears throat> now, if you feel that you're either homosexual or bisexual, um, really, it just starts up and just thinking that you, that you might are, that you might be one. Now, I would recommend you just actually think about it also, because it could just be just something in your head. It could just be, you know, a phase. <clears throat> now, if you feel that it's m more than just a phase, then there's two routes you can do this. Uh, basically testing it out after well, This is how you're gonna test it out. Uh, the first way, and it's something that I kind of more recommend, well, not really recommend because it has a downside, is having a friend that, you know, that you know for a fact is of the same sex and they're comfortable, they're assured of their sexuality and ask them if they can do you the favor. Now, just tell them up front, you know what? I feel that I might be a bisexual or I might be a homosexual and you know, if they could, you know, you could try some things. I'm not saying, you know, go the whole nine yards, just try something. Now, the other route is going with a complete stranger, but I don't recommend that route because you don't know what this person can do. With a close friend, you kind of can see what you can what can happen. You know, with a complete stranger, you don't know what's going on. They can be videotaping it. They can be doing a whole lot of sorts. They can actually you can end up being you know violated and raped. So it's always better. Like I said, in my case, uh, I really just thought about it and I kind of knew that I was already gay. But, like I said, and I have been gay since I was, what, 19? So, and I'm already 24. So I'm pretty sure that I am, a, that I'm gay. Now, but first of all, be pretty positive that you want to test it out. Because, you know, you might feel weird with a friend because, you know, you might be a close friend. But... Think about it this way, with a close friend, you guys can talk about it and, you know, you guys can come in agreement and you, you never know, maybe just talking to that person, you can find, you know, your answer instead of actually doing anything. Because you're a complete stranger. Uh, of course, the awkwardness will not be there, but then if you, if you meet them up somewhere else or, you know, a lot of things can happen with a close friend, you might, it might be more controlled. Because you don't, like I said, you don't know what could happen. So, this is the best advice I can give you. And telling your parents, um, I would also agree not to tell them right away until you're able to fend for yourself. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad thing; you should be ashamed of yourself. But depending on how your parents were were raised, because my parents, both of them were actually were homophobic. I wasn't raised with my dad, I was raised with my mom. She had a hard time accepting it. My dad as well, but my dad just tells me, you know, to try to be straight, but if nothing can be done, then too bad, nothing can be done. So that's just my personal experience. That's my situation. Yours can be completely different. So like I said, it's always best to think about it. And once you're pretty sure you want to set up, go right ahead for it. I hope this piece of advice helps helps you out see what you can do and you know have a better understanding what are your options.